Hello, I'm Mark Brooks. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm in the uh, kitchen uh, preparing what I'm going to fix for dinner. What will it be? How about slow cooked vegetables uh, with uh, fried eggs on top? Yeah, the vegetables, pinto beans, uh, potatoes, carrots, asparagus, uh, mushrooms, and tomatoes be cooked, in the, cooked this way in a one and a half quart slow cooker or, or crock pot with three heat settings, low, high, and keep warm, which gives, gives the most uh, cooking versatility, having all, all three uh, temperature settings. And so the next step is uh, adding in the pinto beans and allowing them to soak. That's my first step, so keep on watching. Okay, first thing I'm going to measure out a half cup of uh, pinto beans. For any beans of choice, you could use lima beans, black eyed peas, whatever you choose, a half a cup. Next I'm going to wash them. Place these beans into the slow cooker, pot pot. And next, I'm going to add about two cups of water. I'll do this overnight the night before. The, uh, the beans have to uh, pre-soak overnight, so they will come out to the cook. And then tomorrow, when I resume cooking, resume the uh, process, I'll, I'll slice a potato, and, and we'll peel and slice a potato and add that in. That'll be the next step. Now we allow the uh, beans to uh, soak overnight, probably at least eight hours. Now time to uh, peel this uh, potato and slice and put it in. We'll uh, go ahead and get the potato peeled and then we'll it, it slice and then we'll put it in. Now it's been peeled, next thing we'll slice it. Potatoes now sliced, we'll place them in. Yeah. One, one of the best things about slow cooking is potatoes will come out thoroughly uh, well done and so delicious tasting. Nothing else seems to match that. Ever tried uh, baking potatoes in a slow cooker? Yeah, they come out moist and thoroughly well done. You know, oven baking or even microwave baking is just no match. Okay, next I'm adding about a quarter cup of uh, it's a teriyaki uh, marinade and sauce. I'll mix that in. That will add some flavor to the uh, into beans and baked potatoes. And next add some shredded carrots. Probably about a, about a quarter cup of this. And uh, add a little more water. And then we're going to uh, Slow cook it, put it on a, a low uh, low heat for about uh, eight hours. Yeah. It's always good to have a uh, slow cooker that has three settings, a low, high, and a keep warm setting that gives you the most uh, versatility. So, so after that time has passed, we'll uh, add in some vegetables, uh, asparagus, uh, uh, mushrooms, and uh, tomato. And that will uh, finish the uh, vegetables. Okay, everything's been cooking for at least eight hours. You're cooking at a temperature of about uh, 180 degrees, which is a very a very safe cooking that thoroughly kills off bacteria that might be present. Next step is to add the uh, vegetables, you know, asparagus, carrots, and uh, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. You may wonder why I'm, I add the, he's at, add, I'm adding these vegetables later. Main reason is a uh, preserve the uh, vitamins and enzymes that get destroyed with, from long-term cooking. So, it also helps keep the, co the color of the vegetable longer. And I'm also going to add some uh, shredded uh, cheese for more flavor. And let, that, let that sit for a while while I'm frying the eggs. That'll be my next step. Tip is to fry the eggs. Here I am with two eggs and a small egg skillet. We'll let them, uh, until they're done, we'll uh, 
then we'll take the vegetables out and put them on a plate and put the eggs on top. That'll be the next step. Okay, now the eggs are done. It's time to serve the vegetables. I'll you know, stir it up using a straining uh, scoop. I'm using a strainer because I just want the vegetables, not the uh, water, cooking water on the plate. So after I've mixed it fairly well, I'll serve it on the plate. And this cooking's done, so I can turn the uh, pot off. Yeah, just just look at that. It's a uh, the, the color you see there. Just a white mi mix of delicious color. Of course, the eggs are now right. So now it's time to add them on top. Okay, here go along the eggs. In the center. Just look at that. Very delicious. Anxious to start eating. Now it's time, time to try it. Yeah, the, best, the, the potatoes are just delicious. They're being slow cooked, they're thoroughly well done. You just can't match that with uh, any other means of cooking. Let's even try the eggs. Somewhat runny, but we'll accept that, accept that anyway. Very good as well. So, hope you enjoyed seeing this video and hope you gained something and maybe want to try doing the same thing I did. So, if you do, best of luck and thanks for watching.